we've already went through the three steps in how to properly operate a goose call and now we're going to talk about specific notes or building a cadence you have to be careful not to develop what i call a human rhythm you want to be more reactive uh, in situations where you're hunting in the field we'll talk about that in another one but i just want to talk about just a couple of simple notes you've got the honk which is a longer drawn out version of a cluck so a honk is just <laughs> And when you shorten a honk, it becomes a cluck. So it's a shorter front end and a shorter back end. So it's as opposed to And then there's also the moan, which is the back end of a note. You're just saying, you're just saying all, all. And you put it with a cluck, it's And that's more like a double cluck. But you can put all these notes together in a cadence later or in a field scenario, but you can start practicing these. And then there's also this, a, a spit note, which is a, a quick note. It's really hard to describe, but in the call, you're almost going So once you learn to do the, the, the honks, the clucks, the moans, the spit notes, um, you can start putting things together. And what, what I like to tell people is you don't have to learn a whole lot of notes. There's not, you, you don't have to learn a lot of specialty notes. You can do a lot with just a honk and a cluck to give uh, or display different emotions. So low and slow is content. It's just calm geese on the ground. <laughs> and gradually increasing the pitch and cadence and tempo can give a different emotion like you're trying to tell them hey you know you're more excited like hey come on over here so it's So just by changing my pitch, cadence, and tempo, I only used a couple of different notes in there, but I can just give the geese a different emotion or uh, trying to get the, a different reaction out of them by changing that pitch, cadence, and tempo. And that, if you just learn that, you don't have to do all the specialty notes. And if you have two or three buddies in the blind that are just making some ground talk and you're doing that and you're changing your pitch, cadence, and tempo, you can get birds to react and come in uh, day in and day out and be very productive and it's just simple it's the kiss method keep it simple right and just follow those put those together learn how to cluck learn how to moan and you can also add in some murmur some ground talk and that's just saying ooh 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 into the call <laughs> so on the front of the call is <laughs> So just with a few simple sounds, by changing the pitch, cadence, and tempo, you can try to get a different reaction out of the birds when you're trying to get them to come into your decoy spread.